Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Premiere Pro scripting quick tip tutorial. In this one I'm going to be showing you how you can make a simple script or use some basic functions to batch export your presets in Premiere. This might be something you want to do to uh, take a project full of a whole bunch of presets you've made and export each sequence with the, as its own preset which you can later use in an extension or just sell as sort of the Premiere project uh, template files. So with this basic script, which I'll be sharing with you for free, I'm just going to be going over today how it works, uh, the basic functions you want to use to export things like uh, a preview image, a preview video, and a PR project file, only with the sequence and data that you need. Before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel, and down in the description you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link, make sure you follow us there for coding updates, also in the description follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, hang out with knowledgeable members, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, link for that is in the description down below. You can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. This gives you Discord membership status and a bunch of cool perks like uh, Q&As, uh, live streams every week for VIPs, and much more. You can also check out my profile on AE Scripts where you can download for free or purchase some plugins to help support us. As well, you can also check out uh, in the link in the description my Adobe Exchange profile where I'm also uploading a lot of useful stuff there. All right, so let's go ahead and just get started. We're going to first take a look at the basics of how this script is working and how it relates to the Premiere project we're going to be exporting things out of. Now, usually you'd have a Premiere project if you're going to do this in a batch process with a whole bunch of presets. In this case, there's just one single camera shake preset. But let's say I had 10 of these each in their own folder. I would simply loop through the folders and then provide this information. Uh, it's pretty easy to interlink it, but let's go ahead and get started looking at the script itself. The first thing we do is define a main function, and all we're going to provide to that main function is a folder path. In my case, it's going to be my videos folder. This folder is going to define where we export our image preview as well as our video preview. So you don't have to necessarily hard code this in, you could have the user choose it, but usually I use this kind of tool for myself, just batch exporting stuff. So all we're doing is bringing in a folder path where we're going to export it to, in this case, my videos folder. Then we're going to gather all the sequences in our project. This is what we're going to do to loop through them. If they had a certain name, maybe you have an underscore a preset or something, then you could search for those specific sequences. But in this case, I'm, I know that my project just has sequences that I want to keep and export individually. So I know all my sequences are going to be by saying app.project.sequences. But again, if you want, you could filter out uh, based on name or other properties. Then I just have a couple of variables set up here, a vanilla sequence and a QE sequence, because I'm going to be manipulating my sequence a bit. And also I have here my export path, which is going to be a little bit uh, of our folder path modified. All we're going to do now is loop through all of our sequences here. Again, I'm assuming all the sequences in my Premiere project are each basically a uh, preset that I want to export individually. So we're going to loop through them by saying var s is equal to zero, and we'll loop through as long as s is less than our sequences.num sequences. Then I'm using my export path variable. All we're going to do is add the name of our current sequence. This is going to give us our export folder path, my videos folder. We're going to add a slash, and then we'll add sequences s.name, which will basically name the file uh, to end up being the preset name of our sequence itself. We're going to add the extensions later on for each of the individual uh, processes. So uh, next we have our vanilla sequence and I've just realized we've actually never defined that. So we need to say uh, vanilla sequence is equal to, in this case, we can just say sequences S because um, these sequences here are just normal objects sequences in Premiere. So that's our current vanilla sequence is our current sequence that we're looking at. The first thing we're going to do is export it as a project. This is a super useful function that will export uh, whatever sequence you give it as an individual project. This means that all of the track items, the audio, the video, the images, all of the stuff that is contained in your sequence will be saved uh, over to a new project. So if those are in subfolders or in some kind of complicated hierarchy, you want to make sure you move those audio or video to a maybe the same folder as your, the sequence itself. 
because this will export the sequence with all of the track items and clips included. And then all you have to do is provide a full path to where you want to export your project. In my case, I'm using our export path, which has the output path plus the file name. And then I'm going to replace the, uh, the forward slashes with backslashes here because that's just how Premiere likes the formatting. So I'm replacing the single forward slash, I believe it's a forward slash, with double backslashes. And then I'm adding the suffix.pr project to make sure that our sequence is exporting as a Premiere project. Then the next thing we're going to do is open up our active sequence or vanilla sequence. And we're going to say app.project to open sequence, sequences s dot sequence ID. All you have to do to open a sequence in Premiere is provide the sequence ID. And then we're going to declare our QE sequence variable here or set it. Um, we're going to say QE.project.getActiveSequence. That's how we get the active QE sequence uh, using the QE DOM. And that is going to be the current open one because we just opened our vanilla. So our QE and our vanilla sequences are going to be the same sequence, but just different object types. Then to export our thumbnail, we're going to use our specifically QE sequence because there's a very useful function called export frame PNG. All we have to do in this case for arguments is provide the time. In this case, we'll say zero seconds. Um, and then the path. In this case, we don't need to provide dot PNG because the function or the method itself defines uh, the PNG we're exporting it as. So we're simply going to say at zero seconds, we're going to use our export path and do the same replace thing we did before to make sure it has the correct formatting that uh, Premiere likes. And that's going to export the current open sequence at zero seconds and export that as a PNG, which we can then, of course, use with our project file um, and our about to be video preview as um, sort of elements to display it inside of an extension or however you want. Lastly, we're going to export our preview video. The way we do this is by calling app.encoder, the built-in encoder, basically a media encoder uh, that connects to Premiere. And we're going to use the method called encode sequence. The arguments for this are as follows. We need to provide a sequence, a normal sequence. So we'll say sequences S. Again, you could say vanilla sequence in this case. And then secondly, we're going to provide the output path, including the file extension. In my case, I'm going to use my folder path, which is my videos folder. I'm going to add a slash, add my project name, and .mp4. I could have just reused export path and added .mp4 as well, but in this case, I'm just re-adding them together. The third argument is the path to the encoding preset. In your documents folder, if you go into Adobe, Adobe Media Encoder and select your version, uh, you can actually check out all of the presets, which are EPR files. So each one of these, uh, most of these for me are H.264 presets. I've just simply made the path to one of my H.264 presets which means that after it adds this sequence to Media Encoder, it's going to make sure it encodes it and renders it as an MP4. Now, these last two arguments, um, I'm going to go to the scripting guide to check out. Encode sequence, the last two are integers, representing the work area and the remove upon completion. So, if you want to encode the entire work area, you'd give it a zero. Encode the in to out uh, one, encode work area two. And then if you want to remove the job from the media encoder queue, when it's done, give it a one. Or in my case, if you don't want to remove it, give it a zero. And that is how you can go through and export all of the sequences in your Premiere project as a project file, as a PNG thumbnail preview. And, and in this case, whatever video format thumbnail preview you want through Media Encoder. And using this, you can easily batch automate the exporting of all of your templates and everything, whether it's for an extension or just to be individually released. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out this code in the GitHub link, try it out for yourself, modify it, and uh, start automating your Premiere workflow. You can also follow us in the description on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and hang out with our awesome members. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP and get cool perks and help us out. You can also follow on AE Scripts, check out some free and paid plugins to help improve your workflow and support us, as well as now on Adobe Exchange, where I'm releasing some free and nicely utilitarian products. Thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.
Voices of Big Toe Toe.